Hey everyone, Jordan here with Fantastic Microbes and where to find them. It's another Saturday, which means it's time for another small adventure. Today we're heading to Bryce Canyon. Now long before my days of microbe hunting, I grew up in a very dry and hot place. I'm talking about Arizona. Now looking for microbes is pretty easy when you have a lot of water around you, but in a desert it's a little bit more tricky. Nevertheless, I thought I'd try my luck and head to a place called Bryce Canyon. Now, I've never been to Bryce Canyon before, and but when I hear the word canyon, I figured, hey, there's probably a river at the bottom of this canyon, because, you know, that's how canyons are formed, right? Well, that is right. However, Bryce Canyon isn't even a canyon. Yeah, it's actually an amphitheater that was kind of carved out by the wind. And so, to my dismay, we, after a very long and arduous hike, uh, we weren't able to find any water at the bottom, and so I thought that I was out of luck. Did we hike up this? Yeah. Yes, we did. We crawled up it. Are we 28 weeks pregnant? Yes, yes we, we are. are. <laughs> Good job, buddy. So we went on this whole weekend trip and we didn't find any water or anything, but then, luckily, as we were pulling out of Bryce Canyon, we found a reservoir and I decided, hey, let's go check this out before we go. When we pulled up to this reservoir, there were a lot of birds hanging out. And if there were birds, then that means that there's something for the birds to eat, which is usually algae and other things like that. And when there's algae, there's bound to be other life, like protists. And so it turns out we were in luck. I ended up collecting water from two different reservoirs, and it turned out to be a good thing because in one of them, I wasn't able to find anything, but in the other one, I found a lot of variety. So let me go ahead and show you what we found. One of the first things I saw was a lot of ciliates in this filamentous algae called Spirogyra. Um, this algae is pretty common and found all over the world, um, and these ciliates are kind of common shapes that you'll see. Now, this is a rather uncommon one that I haven't really seen before. Um, it seemed to be some kind of ciliate that had a cool grenade shape to it. And then, as always, we do find a lot of rotifers, but this was a first for me. I haven't seen a rotifer with two feet instead of one. Usually they have, uh, the ones that I've seen have just kind of one foot. Now, there were a lot of other small things that moved a little bit too quickly for me to identify. And then I found this guy. This was a really interesting find for me. It seemed like some sort of crustacean similar to Cyclops, uh, but this one kind of had a shell to it. So I tried to adjust the lens exposure to find more clear details of this, and when I did that, I found something even more shocking. There were things living on this guy. Now this is something that I would seen before, and you might have seen it in one of my previous videos. Sometimes in the microscopic world, there are certain things living on or benefiting from other organisms. In the case of the Bryce Canyon sample, we're looking at what's called an ostracod, and those are some vorticella that are living on it. On my previous footage, those are vorticella living on a copepod. Now I believe this is an example of what's called episymbiosis, which is where an animal lives on another animal without harming it. A larger scale example of this is when barnacles attach to larger marine organisms such as whales. But yeah, that was probably the coolest thing out of all of these organisms that I saw. So, what'd you guys think? I ended up having a lot of fun on this adventure, and I ended up going to a couple other desert places, and you'll see some videos of that in the near future. Now, if you guys want me to go check out some other cool places, comment below where you would like me to go on my next microscopic adventure. Also, go ahead and comment below on your favorite microbe from this adventure. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check out my other videos, and subscribe and like, it really helps out with this channel. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you on next week's adventure.